morning guys welcome to today's video in last week's video I told you guys we are going to be visiting Cassidy's water plant and she will be explaining everything that you guys need to know about the water simply because that I suck at explaining last week so this week we're gonna head to the plant now I am leaving as we speak we're gonna head to the plant give you all the info and then carry on with the rest of the day and I want you guys to sit back relax if you already haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button and enjoy this video So guys, we are here at Aqua Vida, um, 21 Ladder Road, and Cassidy is here, the co-owner. There she is, it's so bright. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Cassidy is gonna show us everything. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So let's go inside. Well, first of all, I just want to welcome you guys to our water purification plant. Um, we call ourselves Water 84. The reason behind this name is because once we purify the water, we then add a mineral concentrate, which is basically putting 84 minerals and trace elements back into the water. However, with that being said, the name of our water is actually Agua Vida, which means living water. Okay, so I'm sure Angela will give you guys the whole tour, but basically I'm just here to educate you guys a bit on what we do here and tell you why our water is so healthy. So we'll start with our purification process. As you can see, it's quite an extended purification <laughs> process. We have eight different types of filters that the water will go through. This will include your typical filters that you'll find in most water companies. Um, but where we take it one step further is with our isogram filter. That's this one over here. This one will focus purely on getting rid of all your heavy metals, your cancer-causing radioactive isotopes, as well as your pesticides and chemicals. So that's quite an important one. Then after that, the water will move through to our reverse osmosis filters. Now, at this point, our water is basically left extremely clean and we refer to it as being dead water, meaning that all of the bad stuff has been removed from the water as well as all of the good stuff. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that in order to get rid of all the bad stuff in the water, you're also getting rid of all the good stuff. So, but don't worry, we fix that problem later on. Um, after that, the water will move on to our huge water tanks and then it's at this point that we add our mineral concentrate to the water. So basically, just to explain that again, we're basically taking clean water, again we refer to it as being dead, we add the minerals back into it, which is ultimately putting life back into this dead water, hence the name living water. Um, a lot of people then think that this might be like the end of it, this is when we bottle it, but just as an extra precaution, we send the water through to our UV filters. This we take, like I said, as an extra precaution, just in case um, any bacteria might have, waited, might have made its way into our water tanks and contaminated the water. So we send it through to the UV filter, which will basically um, eliminate any ounce of bad substances that might have made its way into the water. And yeah, after that, it's ready to mm. be bottled. So we're going to do the first experiment where um, we're going to show, well, Cassidy will explain because I suck at explaining. So guys, what we're going to do is show you an experiment that's basically just proving how clean our water is. This is our water after the reverse osmosis process. So that's when I was telling you guys about the dead water, completely clean, nothing good in it, nothing bad. Um, but this is actually very bad for you to drink. You don't want to drink that water because water lacking minerals, when it enters your body, it'll actually leach all of the minerals from your body and then obviously leave when you urinate. So, we're going to do a little bit of a test. We'll show you that this water, which is our reverse osmosis, because it's completely dead, it won't conduct any electricity. So it's showing that there's completely nothing in the water. Um, and then this one is actually our tap water. So this will conduct electricity. 
because there is obviously something in the water. You're not sure if it's minerals, you're not sure if it's something bad. Um, but yeah, you'll see in the experiments. And basically that's just going to show you that our water is really clean and once we put the minerals into the water, um, the globe will light up and show you that now the water has life again. Hey. But at least now you know it's the healthy stuff that's yeah. gone into the water. This one you're not too sure if it's healthy or not. Okay. okay. So that's the tap water, the regular tap water and then that's the water with like, that's pure water. Yes. This is, this is your reverse osmosis water. Okay, cool. So that's completely dead. Okay, so then we take tap water. You guys can see there's some, there's a little bit of light popping out. Yeah, so as you can see there, there is something in that water, which is why it's conducting electricity. This is the reverse osmosis water. Pure water, nothing in Completely there. Completely dead. Absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of drops of our mineral concentrates, which will be putting life back into the water. Maybe just stir it around a little bit. There we go. And there goes the globe. Damn. So now you can see that life has been put back into the water, but at least now you know that um, what's causing this is all of the minerals. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh my word. And this is our mineral concentrate over here. So people can actually come in and buy this and add it to the water yourself. Yes, yeah, right there. Okay, so yeah, that the experiment was like so cool. But now Cassidy is going to explain um, the pH level and what's the TDS. Total dissolved solids. Total dissolved solids. Okay, go for it. Okay, so just to give you guys some extra information, um, your body's pH level is 7.365. So we try and get our water's pH level to as close to that as possible. Um, and we actually get ours down to 7.6, which is really good. It's also making the water alkaline, which is really healthy for our bodies. Um, and then we use this. This is our pH meter to test um, our water every morning and make sure that our pH level is 7.6 constantly. And then we also have our TDS meter which is your total dissolved solids and we use this to test that. Um, and then just something else, if you guys do come into our factory, you'll notice that we have three different types of water bottles. The first one is your dark blue lid. This is called real water. It basically has 1% of the mineral concentrate and it's pretty much your everyday drinking water. It tastes great, it's really <laughs> smooth. Um, and then you also have the next one up, which is our light blue cup. This is the fountain of youth and actually has seven times more mineral concentrate than the first one. So this is kind of for your people that might have really long days, need a bit more of an energy boost, they need to be properly hydrated, um, maybe they're doing light exercise, so you'll have more minerals in here and more electrolytes. And that'll help you out with that. And then lastly we have the red cap, which is your hydration boost. As it says in the name, it literally strong is... Strong one. Yeah, it's so strong. It's a boost <laughs> of electrolytes, a boost of minerals, really strong stuff. It's something to get used to. You'll notice in both of these, you'll have a bit more of a saltier taste, but that's just the minerals. Um, and basically this one is recommended for your elite athletes, people really working out all the time, um, losing a lot of energy, um, sweating often, you need to be <laughs> properly hydrated. It's also really good for getting rid of cramps, it helps you to stay hydrated for longer, and most importantly it really helps with the recovery. I notice this with my training, so I try and drink it before training and especially after training. Um, but yeah, and the nice thing to know is that for the fountain of youth and the hydration boost, it's not only for athletes. If you're just a regular person and you don't actually need to necessarily experience the benefits of this water through training, um, you can still drink the water and what you'll find is that you will experience an increase in energy levels, which is also really nice. And that's due to the fact that your body is actually being properly hydrated for a change. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for listening um, you guys are welcome to come out and try water anytime you'll find us here at the power center in new germany pine town 
21 Manor Road, Unit 23. Um, or you can also find us in Abschlanga from my home. For convenience, we also carry stock there. So I've been given some presents by the team. And I want to be taking some of these home because look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. <laughs> and basically, Abu Vido, the one children to start drinking like healthy water from the beginning, from when they're young. And I didn't stop because my mom told me to <laughs> blame my mom for that. Otherwise, I'd be healthier and probably better. But oh well. <laughs> but yeah, um, for you guys, your moms, you guys can get these and because they're really cute and they will probably help your children and, um, drink more and play with, around with them more. And they will drink more water, healthy water, and will eat water. So yeah. And that is it guys, got some more pamphlets and everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a few more things like I did. But that experiment was so cool, I can't get over that experiment. And yeah, we're gonna head off, carry on with the day. I got Jody's brother's birthday party to go to, play some footy. And yeah. Okay, tell me, are you excited? Yeah. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> what? I I walked around. <gasps> so we're gonna be putting on putting on those giant balls and then we're gonna play footy. That's it, Ozzy. Are you gonna be playing? No, I'm Why? Why don't you wanna play? Because you run the balls for me. This is? No, it's only ten. Oh. And I wanna load ten. No. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Really? Yeah. How many people are coming? 17. Damn. That's gonna be so many little people running around. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got a little bit more info about Agua Vida. If you want, check them in the description below. Oh, oh no, I missed it. <laughs> They're still busy dancing oh. around. Oh, damn. It's like rugby. It's not even soccer anymore. It's like sumo rugby. Jeez. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Next week. Sunday. Jody say bye. Jody say bye. Jody. Jody say bye. See you next weekend. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Follow me on Instagram.